Is it a cold, snowy day and you can't go outside? Well, shake off the gloomies and create an adorable pair of snowman buttons. That's right, it's Button Day on Friendly Plastic TV. On today's episode, we're going to focus on creating a pair of snowman buttons. This is super easy, it's super quick, and you can really make a lot of these in no time. We're going to be embellishing a pair of mittens today, but you can use these buttons to embellish nearly anything you want. Just make sure that you hand wash them, because I don't recommend that they go through the um, washing machine. So grab your friendly plastic. I'm using a strip of mother of pearl and I also have a strip here of hot pink. Now I happen to have some really small cutters here and these are Kemper cutters. If you want to find them you can just Google Kemper cutters and they're clay cutting cutters. And this is what we're going to use. So I have a larger one and a smaller one. You're simply going to press that in and cut out your two snowman shapes just like this. And so you can go on down the line and create a lot of, of smaller and larger circles. I also have a very small heart shaped cutter and this is what I'm going to use to embellish the tummy of the snowman. And I should mention that I have heated, preheated my plastic and I did that with just my basic heat gun. So we're going to be featuring the heat gun and the um, oven today because I know a lot of you don't have access to a griddle. So again, heat your plastic, cut out your shapes and then cool this in the water. Next, I'm going to arrange them on my nonstick surface. And the, one of the reasons why this is such a great method for the oven method is um, that you can keep your, your pieces in position. If you use a heat gun, sometimes that air will blow your pieces around and you can't get them exactly where you want them. So use an oven. Um, I have set my oven to just under 200 degrees and we're going to be baking this in, in just a little bit for just a couple of minutes. So you can see that I've arranged my pieces here like a snowman and it helps to use tweezers because sometimes your fingers get a little too big and so I'm just going to lay my heart where I want it and then I'll overlay my little scarf here. There we go. The scarf helps to attach both of the pieces together. That's why you want to have something in, its, in the center there. And then I have a tiny little triangle here that I'm going to use for my nose. I'm going to show you that all I did was I cut that piece off of a uh, piece of orange friendly plastic here. And I find that it works a little bit better with some wire snips instead of using scissors. So place your little noses into place here. Oops. Doesn't seem to want to grab, does it? There we go. And that guy's looking up. Okay, and at this point, it's ready to go into the oven. All right, let's pull it out of the oven. Be careful because it's kind of hot. And you're going to notice here that my hearts really don't look like hearts much anymore. So I'm going to give you a little tip to fix that. I'm dipping my needle tool in a little bit of uh, baby oil and then I'm just going to reshape those hearts just by pulling it down, giving a little point. So I can manipulate the plastic once it's hot back into shape just like that. And I can also manipulate and kind of round out the little scarf. I can also add little details so many things you can do. So just kind of play around with this, have fun. And let me show you what the finished ones look like. Let's set this over to the side here for just a second. 
Now I attached the little snowman buttons with a little bit of peel and stick. It's the Aileen's Fabric Fusion Tape. It works excellent. It's very strong and durable. I've even embellished my dollar store mittens with a little bit of fringe and then added a bow. Simple as that. Now if you need more tips, techniques, and ideas, be sure to check us out on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. There's lots of eye candy there. There's lots of project tutorials, and I know you'll have lots of fun creating with Friendly Plastic. And that's going to wrap up this episode. I'm Linda Peterson. I'll be back again to share more ideas working with Friendly Plastic.